Today, let's look at this hard code interview question asked by DoorDash. So we're given the root of a binary tree and we need to return the maximum path sum. So as you can see, the optimal path here is 1527 with a sum of 42. Now for this, we are going to be using DFS. We're going to set our max sum to negative infinity. Let's create our DFS function, which is going to take in root. So when we call this, we pass in root. Now let's add the base case. So if root is null, we can return zero here. Now we need to carry out DFS on the left and the right. But the trick here is that we need to take the maximum between zero and the DFS. Cool. And the reason for this is because no value less than zero is going to contribute to a maximum path. Then we need to compute max sum, which is going to be the maximum between max sum itself and the sum at our current position. So it's going to be the left value plus the right value plus the current value we're on. Now that we've done that, what do we return back up the stack? Well, we can only return up either the left or right value plus root value. So we need to get the maximum between those two. So the left or the right plus root value. And we need to specify return here. Don't forget to return max sum at the end. Let's run the test case to our solution. 